is the first year of the new science specification and it is going to be graded in a slightly different way to other exams. So I'm just going to explain briefly how they're going to be graded. If you are doing separate science, you'll be doing three GCSEs, you'll get three grades, three numbers. Nothing unusual there at all. This video is concerned with people doing combined science. Then you are doing two GCSEs, which are mixed biology, chemistry, physics, and you're going to get an overall grade for these two GCSEs. So it's really important that when you write it on your CV in the future, you write it down twice because otherwise it's just going to look like you're one GCSE. But this qualification, combined science, is worth two GCSEs. And you're going to get a double grade. And the double grades are going to go from 1-1, one, 1-2, one, one, two, 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 three, 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 all the way up to 7-8, 8-8, 8-9, 9-9. Nine, nine. Which means there are going to be 17 different grades you can get in total. Your overall mark from the three subjects through all of the exams that you sit is going to be combined and then it's going to be scaled and that will determine what grade you get. So you're not going to get a separate grade of chemistry, a separate grade of physics. The advantage of doing this is that if you're really weak in biology but really, really strong in physics, then your physics can pull your biology grade up. Now, this may sound a bit weird, but I've read, um, of course, explanation for this, and the reasoning behind it is actually really, really good. Say the grade boundary for a five was 150, and you got 149, which means you got a four. But you wouldn't get one four because it's a double GCSE, you'd get two fours, even though you are one mark off getting two fives. So being one mark off drops you down a GCSE grade in two grades, so two GCSE grades, which isn't really fair. So if you're one mark away from the grade boundary, so you're 149, you would then get a four five, saying you were at the top end of the four and you nearly got a five. It's like saying it's a C plus, a C or a C minus. So I hope that clears um, everything up just a little bit for you guys. Um, I know come August it's going to be confusing um, and I'll be back here in August to help you try and understand everything.